I want to talk about whether or not software development gets progressively harder the longer you stay in the job. This is one of those weird careers that when you first start out, it's very difficult. And it's difficult because you have to learn so much and you're thrown into a new code base. You have to get familiar with the coding standards of the team, the honestly just the ways of working that the team has or may has may have documented. But then something happens, you know, about a year in where you begin to kind of get your your you know, you've gotten your foot in the door. You've kind of got a little bit more comfortable with the code that you're working in. And you can make pull requests and you can work on and contribute to the overall system. So it begins to, the difficulty kind of tapers off. It kind of begins to plateau and you see this as a little bit easier. And then it kind of goes down, meaning like the level of difficulty seems to actually decrease because you're more able to not only contribute code, but you're more able to review code. You're able to contribute to discussions around uh, decisions and decisions about um, coding standards, the system, and various things like that. But then something happens. And something happens where all of a sudden the difficulty spikes back up again. So we're almost doing this, and then it goes way up. And this, for me, occurred around year, I would say, three or four. Because something around... Something about the third or fourth year, you begin to realize how little you actually know in the grand scheme of things. And I feel like this is more of a self, you know, realization than anything. It's more of a revelation that you'll have on your own. Um, it's not something that's going to happen because, you know, you just happen to talk to somebody who knows more than you. I really feel that this is something hap that happens naturally, and it happened for me around year three or four. And so when you realize how little you actually know and how much that you still need to learn, it can kind of become a little overwhelming. Overwhelming in the sense that, you know, you feel like you are back to square one. You feel like you've put all this work in for the past few, few years. And to be honest with you, sometimes it can, it can feel like it has amounted to very little. And I remember when I had this feeling. I felt that I, I I, had not only a ton of imposter syndrome, but I had just a feeling of inadequacy. I had a feeling like I wasn't good enough, and it really took a hit on my self-confidence, and it was hard to overcome. And it's one of the reasons that I started to read a lot of software development books. So my motivation to start reading was not really out of sheer curiosity. My motivation to start reading was really out of a feeling of inadequacy. And whether or not my motives were good, it still propelled me in the right direction in terms of personal study. But it was a hard thing to overcome because it was hard to go from feeling like you knew how to, how to do the job to all of a sudden not feeling like you knew how to do the job. And I get that, okay, you know, in whatever profession, you're always going to stumble across a problem that you don't know how to solve. You're always going to have a situation where you've, you know, a situation that you've never experienced or had to deal with before. That's life. And software development, it seems like this is like the case, but to the max. It seems like this is the case where, you know, we've all seen pictures of the iceberg and you realize how deep the iceberg goes. It's very true in this field. And it becomes even harder because of how quickly things change how new frameworks are always being updated, uh, new frameworks are introduced, and honestly, just new coding styles and paradigms are continually released. And so whenever you feel like you've gotten to a point where you understand, something may come in and completely change that, and then you're back to square one. Or you have to go and use a new technology or framework that you don't know, and then you are really back at square one. And I get that, like, you know the underlying principles of software development. You've now learned programming, like the principles of programming, whether that's object-oriented, aspect-oriented, uh, you know, whether that's um, functional programming, whatever, whatever it happens to be. You have that, you, you know, you have that understanding, but you still have to know how to use the technology or the framework or library. So it really can feel difficult and 
for me, again, this is a big reason I started to read and I started to really just study a lot is to overcome this feeling of inadequacy and overcome my own just lack of self-confidence. And I want to say that reading helped my self-confidence, and I think it did in the long run, but it definitely did not help it immediately. It seemed to almost have the reverse effect because when I was reading, I felt like I should already know this, and I felt like I was a fraud. I felt like I was an imposter. And this lasted for probably the better part of a year. And so as I continue to study and as I continue to work and have these feelings, it seemed to improve after about a year and a half. It seemed to kind of taper off again. So the difficulty again spiked up quite substantially and then it kind of tapered off at the top. And I feel like that's kind of where I am floating around currently. That's that's kind of where I'm at because I put in all the time and effort to study, but I'm still very aware of how much I don't know and how much I still need to learn in order to get to where I want to be. And it's a, it's a difficult feeling, but I feel a little bit more prepared than I did three years ago or two years ago. So it just continually builds and builds on top of each other, right? The principles that you learn just continually to build, continue to build and build. So I don't know how many years I'm going to have to stay in this job to, in order to feel like I have a complete understanding of the field. I don't think that'll ever be the case. Well, no, it certainly will never be the case. But I hope that as I, you know, about I'm, I'm six years into this job, I would hope that by year 10, I have a little bit more self-confidence in the job and I have a little bit more understanding of what I would consider to be a lot of the fundamentals. I hope that's the case, but given the speed of change and given, given how quickly things are updated, I'm just not sure if that trend of, you know, increasing and tapering off is going to ever level out. I don't think it will. But I feel like my total understanding, my total self-confidence is slowly rising with it. So as long as I don't feel uh, inadequate or, you know, as long as I don't have another kind of hit to my self-confidence, then, you know, then it's good. We're good. So I, but obviously I know I'm going to have to overcome those feelings again um, because it's a child. This can be a challenging job, right? There's challenging aspects to it. And it's hard because a lot of the job is uh, very uh, solitary, right? You're working a lot of the times by yourself on a specific problem. And so if you already have those feelings and you couple that with the difficult problem you're trying to solve, it can make for a very mentally taxing environment, make for a very mentally taxing uh, profession. Um, but I think it's worthwhile. And I feel like it, it gives a lot of satisfaction that a lot of other careers don't and like i said before in another video there is a unique thing about this job that it's still very creative and i feel like that room for creativity makes up for a lot of the other deficits of this job and as long as there's that room for creativity as long as we can we can still have that spark for creative energy and use creative thinking in order to solve problems, then I feel like we're in a good spot with this job. When that creativity subsides, when that goes away, then then we'll have to see. But as long as creativity is there, I think we're good. So yeah, let me know where you're at on this on this journey because I feel like it's we all have our we all have our ups and downs. Um, but overall I think it's good. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.